फ्रेंड्स माई सेल सिद्धार्थ चौहान वेलकम टू इजी मेडिकेम टूडेज आवर लेक्चर टॉपिक इज टू स्टडी द रिमेनिंग सेक्शन ऑफ द बेसल गैंगलिया और द बेसल न्यूक्लिया ओके इफ दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बेसल गैंगलिया वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट द बेसल गैंगलिया इज प्रेजेंट एट द इन्फीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द सेरिब्रल कॉटेक्स और द सेरिब्रल हेमिसफियर सो दिस इज द पोर्शन और दिस इज द प्लेस वेयर द बेसल गैंगलिया इज एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट it is present just above the midbrain if this is the midbrain this portion is the midbrain this is the midbrain okay the basal ganglia this whole structure is the basal ganglia the basal ganglia is present just above the midbrain the midbrain at the posterior side is having the superior colliculi and this is the inferior colliculi so this is the superior colliculi and this is the inferior colliculi okay this is the superior colliculi and this is the inferior colliculi the basal ganglia is present just above the midbrain if this is the third ventricle this is the third ventricle and it communicates with the mid, uh, fourth ventricle through the cerebral aqueduct this is the cerebral aqueduct or the sylvian duct Sylvian duct or the cerebral aqueduct. The fourth, the third ventricle communicates with the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle is present in this part of the brainstem, the pons and the medulla oblongata. This portion is the pons, and this portion is the medulla oblongata. Okay. The third ventricle communicates with the fourth ventricle through the sylvian duct or the cerebral aqueduct. On both of the side of the third ventricle, the two thalamus are present. these two are the two thalamus okay this is the thalamus thalamus on both of the side of the third ventricle the thalamus are present or the two thalamus are present beneath the thalamus the subthalamus is present this portion is a subthalamus this is the subthalamus okay subthalamus beneath the thalamus the subthalamus are present on more lateral to the thalamus the lentiform cells are present this whole structure is the lentiform cells this this is the lentiform cell the lentiform cell is having a two part the more lateral part is called the putamen and the medial part is called the globus pallidus this part is the putamen this part is the putamen and this part is the globus pallidus okay globus pallidus this part is the globus pallidus and in between the in between the lentiform cell and the and the thalamus there is a white matter is present where both the corticospinal and spinothalamic tracts are running this white matter is called the internal capsule this structure which is present between the lentiform cell and the thalamus is the internal capsule this structure is the internal capsule okay this is the internal capsule and more lateral to the lentiform cell there is another if this is an internal capsule there must be external capsule which is present more lateral to the lentiform cell this structure is the external capsule this is the external capsule and more lateral to the external capsule this uh, gray matter the group of gray matter is present here this gray matter is called claustrum this is the claustrum if this is the internal capsule this is the external capsule and more lateral to the claustrum there is a 
extreme capsule is also present here this portion is the extreme capsule extreme capsule okay this is the extreme capsule the tooth helmets of both side communicate or will join together through the intrathalamic adhesion these two helmets are joined together through an intrathalamic adhesion here is the intrathalamic adhesion okay these two helmets are joined together through an intrathalamic adhesion adhesion these two helmets are joined together through an intrathalamic adhesion there is a c shaped nucleus is present which is joining the lentiform cells and the subthalamus together this c shaped nucleus is called chordate nucleus this c shaped nucleus is called the chordate nucleus okay this nucleus which is joining the thalamus and the lentiform cell together is called the chordate nucleus this is the chordate nucleus which is joining the lentiform cell and the thalamus together okay this is actually uh, the structure of the basal ganglia which is present just above the midbrain it come it is present just above the midbrain so that's all for this part we'll be continuing the function of the basal ganglia in the next part so do like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more notification and do comments also thank you like share and subscribe my channel to reboot your knowledge and press bell icon for all notifications